So you've been eyeing that new Mercedes-Benz, picturing yourself hitting the open road. Oh. But before you sign on the dotted line for that 2025 AMG GLB 35 or GLB 250, yeah. there's something you need to know. Oh, boy. We're diving into a Mercedes-Benz tire recall today. and um, Always fun. It sounds like a smooth ride gone wrong. You got that right. And while no car issue is ever ideal, this one's getting attention for a reason. This isn't just a noisy tire. We're talking potential sidewall damage, sudden tire deflation, even blowouts. Yikes. Imagine that happening at high speed. Definitely not the kind of performance you're looking for in a luxury SUV. What's the deal with this recall? This recall is specifically about potential sidewall damage, and it's affecting both the right side front and the rear tires. Both? Yeah, so both front and rear. On the 2025 Mercedes-Benz AMG GLB 35 and the 2025 Mercedes-Benz GLB 250. So this is hitting right at the heart of their new lineup. You know, the ones marketed as the do-it-all performance SUVs, wow. and we're talking about both front and rear tires. Mm -hmm. That's not great. No, it's not. And this recall has a pretty official sounding number, NHTSA campaign number 24V780. 24V780,000. Got it. Oh, he's good to have that handy if you're checking on your own vehicle. Got it. But let's break down why this sidewall issue is such a big deal. It's not just any tire problem, right? Right. The sidewall is essentially the tire's backbone. It keeps the tire's shape and ensures that the air pressure stays consistent. Okay. If the sidewall gets damaged, you're at a much higher risk of a sudden deflation or even a complete blowout, especially at higher speeds. And these Mercedes models are designed for performance, which means they're often driven at higher speeds. Exactly. These cars are built for speed and agility. Right. A tire failure at high speed is a serious safety concern in any vehicle, but right. with these SUVs, the potential consequences are even greater. Okay, that's a little alarming. So what is Mercedes-Benz doing about it? Are they just issuing warnings or is there a fix? The good news is they are taking action. Mercedes-Benz is offering free inspections at dealerships and they'll replace any affected tires free of charge. Okay, so at least they're stepping up and taking responsibility, which is good to hear. Yeah. But what about the people driving these cars right now? Yeah. They're potentially driving around with a serious safety hazard. That's the catch. Yeah. Official owner notifications aren't going out until December 20th, 2024. December. That seems like a long time to wait, especially when dealing with a safety issue like this. It is. And, and it's understandable that owners would want peace of mind now. This is where things get interesting. So we've got a bit of a waiting game here, but you wouldn't want to wait to check if your new car has a recall, right? What should our listeners do if they're driving one of these Mercedes SUVs? If you're driving a 2025 AMG GLB 35 or GLB 250, don't wait for that notification in December. Right. The best thing to do is be proactive. I like the sound of that. So how can they be proactive? Mercedes-Benz customer service is ready to help right now. Okay. You can reach them at 1-800-367-6372. And make sure you have your VIN number handy. That's your vehicle identification number in case anyone isn't familiar. It's like a fingerprint for your car. Mm. Helps them look up all the important details. Right. And if you'd rather go through official safety channels, you can always contact the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Sure. Or NHTSA. NHTSA, got it. They're the ones who issue these recall notices in the first place. Right. Their vehicle safety hotline is 1-888-327-4236. Or you can visit their website, nhtsa.gov. Easy to remember, nhtsa.gov. They've got a whole database of recalls, not just for Mercedes-Benz, but for all makes and models. Yeah, it's a good resource. It's like a one-stop shop for checking on your car's safety history. But let's circle back to this waiting game expert speaker. It's interesting that Mercedes is aware of the issue and taking responsibility. Right. But the delay, especially with a new Audi, seems a bit unusual. It is. It's not unheard of for new car models, especially in their first year of production, to have a few more issues crop up. So kind of like first year growing pains for a brand new car. In a way, yes. Often there are kinks in the manufacturing process with new models. Maybe they've got new suppliers, new materials, or even new assembly line processes that need to be fine-tuned. Makes sense. It takes a bit for everything to get fully ironed out. That makes sense. And with these particular SUVs, it's not just any car, right? They're yeah. marketing these as high-performance vehicles. Does that increase the pressure to catch these kinds of issues early on? Well, yeah. I mean, Because they you know, built for speed. It certainly raises the stakes. When you're talking about performance vehicles, safety is paramount. These SUVs are designed to be pushed to their limits, which means that any potential weaknesses are magnified. 
Right. A tire blowout and a car built for speed is a different story altogether. Exactly. So while it's great that Mercedes-Benz is offering the fix for free and being proactive in that sense, that delay in notification does raise some eyebrows. There's always a balance to be struck between waiting for official channels and encouraging owners to take action sooner. Especially when it comes to safety. Nobody wants to compromise on that. But we've given our listeners the tools to be proactive. Hopefully they'll take advantage of that and get their vehicles checked out sooner rather than later. This is definitely a situation where knowledge is power, and in this case, potentially life-saving. It sounds like a no-brainer to me. A quick call or website visit could save you a whole lot of trouble down the line. Absolutely. And this whole situation really highlights the importance of staying informed, especially with new car models. It's like you always say, knowledge is power. It really is. And in this case, it could mean the difference between a safe drive and a serious incident. You know what's fascinating here is this trend we're seeing with car recalls becoming more common even for luxury brands. Is that right? I have to admit, I don't usually think of Mercedes-Benz when I hear about recalls. It's easy to assume that high-end brands are immune to these kinds of issues, but the reality is that modern cars are incredibly complex. There are so many moving parts, different suppliers, and intricate manufacturing processes that even the most prestigious brands can experience hiccups makes you realize that no car is perfect, right? Exactly. And with the increasing complexity of cars, especially with all the new technology being tacked in, it's more important than ever to stay vigilant about recalls. So what's your advice for our listeners? How can they stay ahead of the curve on this stuff? Well, besides being proactive, like we discussed with the Mercedes recall, it's a good habit to check for recalls on a regular basis. Okay. You can easily do that on the NHTSA website. Right. Just plug in your car's VIN and it'll tell you if there are any outstanding recalls. It's like a safety checkup for your car, but without having to leave your house. Precisely. It only takes a few minutes and could potentially save you a lot of trouble. Great advice. And on that note, we'll be sure to keep our listeners updated on any new developments with this Mercedes-Benz tire recall. It's a good reminder that even with the most luxurious and high-performing vehicles, safety should always be top of mind. Couldn't agree more. Stay informed, stay safe, and keep those wheels rolling. Until next time, folks. Safe driving.